Hi everyone! I thought what I would do is take you on a tour to explore and see the powerful tool that we have called Needs Grading. Now you have to be in the control panel, so we're going to go over here to the Grade Center and I'm going to expand this area instead of actually going straight into the full Grade Center. You may have seen Needs Grading, you may not have and I'd like you to just check it out because I want you to see how cool it really is. So I'm going to click on Needs Grading and once I do you're going to see a list of all the assignments that your students have completed. There's going to be everything from assessments to assignments to wikis, blogs, journals, anything that your students have actually participated in. Now I do want to explain two exceptions that you will not be able to grade in the needs grading. One is an assessment that is automated, meaning you have just true, false, multiple choice, matching, um, those types of questions. And the other one is the Turnitin assignment. You will see this listed here, but you will have to go over to Course Tools, and I'm going to show you very quickly. Scroll down until you see Turnitin Assignments. You're going to click on Turnitin Assignments, and then you're going to click on View. That's where you need to go to actually grade the Turnitin Assignments. Now, what's great about this needs grading is they actually show up in the area to alert you that there has been some activity in the Turnitin assignment area and then you can go over there to the uh, course tools and grade them. Once you grade the Turnitin assignments and you post points it's going to disappear from this area. So it's really cool and very helpful to alert you if nothing else that you have some assignments in Turnitin. Now I want to take you into some of the particular assignments to show you what it looks like. For example, this discussion, please introduce yourself from the test student. I'm going to click on the name of the student and it's going to take me into another screen and on the right hand side you'll see a panel. Now if you use rubrics, they're going to be right here handy, you can click on the rubric, it's going to open up the rubric criteria and you can even show descriptions if you click on the show descriptions and you can actually grade with the rubric. So I could come along here, um, I'm just going to show the descriptions and I can just look at my criteria and make sure that it matches the participation. In this case the test student is pretty much on target. Uh, these are built-in rubrics. I hope you're also taking advantage of that. Now watch what happens. It adds that up for us at the bottom and then I can click on Save Rubric. Now you could overwrite this if you decided to change your mind and you could provide feedback in this area. So I could overwrite it here and then I could simply submit. Your students will see this activity and your grade and your comments when they click on their grade book in the class. Now I want to show you another assignment type to show you what that looks like. I'm going to come scroll down and I'm going to show you a regular assignment. Now I give multiple attempts and this is what it looks like. You can go into the multiple attempts and grade those depending on how you use it. But I'm going to go into the last grade or actually the last attempt for this student and I'm going to click on that student and again it takes me back here and I have graded it previously so I could put in more points if they didn't have enough points or they were redoing some work I can put some feedback in here now this particular assignment does not have an embedded rubric. I want to call your attention to this screen over here. There's really nothing in it right now, but if your students uploaded a document such as a PDF or a doc or a docx, it would appear in this screen to the left and then some highlighting and some tools would appear for you to be able to do an inline style grade. So that simply means you'd have a few tools to be able to make comments, to highlight, and so on and so forth. Now it's not as powerful as Turnitin because you don't have the grade mark, you don't have the 
audio comments, the overall comments, and of course the originality tool. But it is a really cool option if you don't use Turnitin for every written assignment. So again, I can come over here to the right hand side and I can click on Submit. Now I know this is a fast whirlwind tour, but again I want you just to take a few minutes to check it out. This is really cool for so many reasons. For example, I can just take a bird's eye view and say, oh, I've got a lot of grading to do. And then I can go through each one of these assignments. Now I don't have to necessarily come out of the assignments either. Let me just show you what I mean. If I click on, this is the first attempt for that one particular assignment, I want you to notice up here, I have a little navigational bar and I can go through each assignments through this way. So one by one I could go through these assignments and grade them whether they're wikis, assignments, journals, discussion forums, so on and so forth. Again, a very cool tool and I hope it saves you some time so check it out and thanks for your attention.